welcome to Tournus. Now, if you ever find yourself driving through France from the north to the south, which is something I've had the pleasure of doing on several occasions, Tournus is the perfect place to stop for an evening. There are some excellent hotels, some very, very serious restaurants, and being in the Macon region of France, some excellent white wines. In the heart of the town is this wonderful old abbey, parts of which date back to the 10th century. And if you've got the time, do take a gentle stroll through the nave of the abbey, just to admire the beautiful pink stones of the pillars. A great place to stay in Tornus is La Tour du Trésorier, just across the road from the abbey. Run by Sophie and Thierry, it has five exquisite rooms and there are beautiful views across their garden to the River Sans. If you do book here, be sure to ask for the room at the top of the tower. There are many steps to get up there, but I can guarantee you the views and the ambiance are well worth the effort. They run a table d'hôte, which means that they will cook you an evening meal should you require it. There are, however, four Michelin-starred restaurants within Tournus, three of them within walking distance. However, on the night that I was there, they served up a wonderful meal of charcuterie, cheeses, salad, desserts, and with Thierry's wine list, there isn't really much point in venturing beyond the front door. Southwest of Lyon and up in the hills, there is another great little place to stay for the evening in Saint Marcel Les Annonay. This is the Auberge du Lac, which as the name implies is right by the side of the lake. If you're feeling energetic, this lake will take you a whole hour to walk around, so some good exercise to be had here. However, back to serious matters. The restaurant was excellent, and the wine list, although short, had some very, very interesting bottles on it. The rooms were okay, but the lack of air conditioning might bother some in the heat of summer. All in all, though, there was a sense of peace, calm, and of being utterly pampered. Much further southwest, and on the border with Spain, are the Pyrenees Mountains. And when we were down there, what should have been a five-minute journey, due to a detour, was turned into something approaching three-quarters of an hour. However, it did take us through this most stunning scenery. Wherever you go in France, you are never far from picturesque towns and villages, and in the hills a few miles from the main autoroute between Carcassonne and Narbonne is the abbey town of La Grasse. The humpback bridge over the river dates back to the 11th century, and it's worth going to look in the river just to gaze at the phenomenal number of trout. Once a flourishing medieval city, it is now a rabbit warren of narrow lanes. In nearby Saint-Pierre-des-Champs is the Hotel Le Fargo, and it's the perfect place to unwind, to explore the area, and to discover the numerous wines of Corbière. Run by Christophe and Sylvie, you can see it's set in its own vineyards, and it's a place of great calm and tranquillity. Having said that, there is a stream running through La Fargo, and in the month of May, the male frogs sing their hearts out, attempting to attract a suitable mate. As you can see, the gardens are absolutely exquisite, and what could be more perfect, late on on a summer's evening, sitting outside, underneath the trees, watching the sun go down, with a glass of perfectly chilled local rosé wine to sip.
Rock and Mador is recognised as being one of the most breathtaking villages in France. Set on the sides of the canyon of the River Alzu, the houses literally cling to a sheer cliff face and at the summit are the remains of an old fortress. Now, for those of you who might be slightly allergic to exercise, there's even a lift that will take you from the top all the way to the bottom and, should you require it, all the way back up to the top again. Now, there is something I find incredibly special about France, and I suppose this must go back to the 10 years of my education taking place in the precincts of Canterbury Cathedral. But the French love their church bells. And it doesn't matter where you are in France, you will never be that far from a burst of bell activity. Our next Simply Flute lifestyle video will be about Oridor sur Glane on the 10th of June.